Hey guys, this is Scope. Welcome back to Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. In the last episode, uh, we defeated Teana here, and she took us to the festival to um, go look for Jono. So, let's look for Jono. Oh, uh, yes, there are a lot of people. Look, the mages are about to start their procession. Really? You don't say. Awesome! Yeah, so the mages are doing their cool little ritual here for some reason. I don't know. I'm, I'm not familiar with the whole ancient Egypt thing. But kind of spooky, too. This must be the work of that detestable high mage, Hai Shin. When I was a kid, it used to be more wholesome. Even the attitude of the mages have changed for the worse. Okay, so apparently there's this guy, Hai Shin, who is ruling now. And uh, he's making everything suck worse. What's our world coming to? Oh, tell me about it. Want to go someplace else? Um, Look, it's Jono. I can't believe it, but he's dueling over there. Oh sweet, who's he dueling? Let's see. Oh man, I I lost. Holy crap, looks like Jono just lost to this uh, douchebag with the blue head over here. So yeah, that is Joey from the anime. I believe I have wasted my efforts on an insignificant speck. Say what? Forgive my choice of words. You were mildly entertaining. Hey, Jono! Tiana and Scope. What's up? Jono, you looks like you just got your ass whooped, bro. Are you okay? What's going on? What do you think? It ain't obvious. You lost. Don't be so blunt. I didn't lose. I had a setback. Yeah, Jono's attitude is pretty much the exact same way it is in the anime. I freaking love that guy. He's always happy-go-lucky. I grew weary of this insect. And this is obviously Seto Kaiba's sprite from the uh, anime, but um, apparently he's some weird guy now. Is there not one among you that is worthy of my attention? Me at the nerve of this guy. Hey, Scope, why don't you challenge him? After all, you're the best duelist I've ever seen. I'll bet you can beat him. Yeah, Scope, do it. Show him who's boss right here. I'll show him who's boss like a boss. Hello, are you my next victim? Shh, I'll duel you, dude. I ain't afraid. Let's do it. I hope you are better than the last one. Come, let us duel. Master Seto, Master Haishin calls for you. I see. So be it, the duel is postponed. Am I correct in assuming that you frequent the town's duel field? That's right! <laughs> I love how Jono has to talk for me because I'm a silent protagonist like always. Then wait there, I shall grace you with a visit. Seto is my name, remember it. Oh, I will, douchebag. Can you believe that guy? A mage with attitude! Oh, so he's a high mage, apparently. Or not a high mage, just a regular mage. Yeah, a real charmer. I got a feeling Scope will put him in his place, won't you, buddy? Damn right. Come on, let's look around and then head for the dual field. All right, let's do it. So pretty much if you go to the dual ground, I believe Seto is going to show up there and we can actually battle him. But for now, I'm not too worried about that. Let's see what's going on at the shrine. We don't have many options at this point, but hey, whatever. <sighs> Where is Seto? Must we keep be kept waiting? Where can he be at a time like this? It would seem Master Haishin's favorite chooses to mock us. Master Haishin does make much of Seto's capabilities, though he is but a child. Man, these mages have some weird faces. I believe we waited long enough. Let us go, Master Haishin awaits us. Okay, so apparently those are the mages, and we can go to the shrine and speak on them. I wonder if we go back what happens. Oh, okay. These hallowed halls are protected by High Mage Hai Shin. Commoners are not allowed. Be gone with you. Hey, I'm not a commoner. I'm the frickin' prince, dude. What the hell? Anyway, we can uh, roam around and see stuff. Let's go to the card shop. I'm just gonna pretty much show you guys around the world at this point, because this is where we're allowed to do everything. Hello there. So, I'll show you the build deck option, how you switch a new card in. So, uh, what I like to do is I like to switch them into this one, which is Order of Newness, so the new ones you get will be at the top. So, Armored Ninja, he kind of sucks. Um, we can look at his card by pressing tri- or, uh, what is it? Triangle, yeah. And he doesn't do anything special, so we're not going to put this guy in our, in our deck. He sucks. So, no need to do that. And I will also be saving... Yes. And, of course, if you're playing this on a PS1, make sure you have a memory card, and if you're playing it on a PS3, you can just automatically save to the hard drive. And uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to return to the title real quick and just show you guys these options around while I still can. 
So pretty much on the title here, um, this is campaign if you want to return to the main game. Free duel is a nice little option here. It's uh, it's really cool. Pretty much anybody you've beaten in the main storyline will be available here. Um, Duel Master K, he's a special opponent who has the exact same deck as you, so you can practice uh, against your own deck. And it's also cool because you can see what fusions he uses, and then you can use those in your um, things. And obviously we've beat Teyana, so we can duel her here, and it'll keep records of your wins and losses. And uh, by dueling them here, you can also get their cards. So um, you can still get cards from winning. So it's good if you want to come over here, and uh, this is an easy way to get really good cards. Well, it's not easy, but you know what I mean. Um, and then you can build your deck, your library. That'll just show you all the cards that you've uh, viewed up to this point in the game. As you can see, there are 722 cards. So, yeah, quite a bit of stuff going on here. Quite a bit of cards. And then the password screen, obviously, that you can save over here for whatever reason. Because uh, if you wouldn't do it in game. Now, the password screen, what you do is you enter a password of a card. Now, in real life, the cards have little eight digit codes in the bottom left corner and uh, you can enter those codes or you can look them up online and they will correspond to a card now when the card pops up you don't get it you have to have a good amount of star chips so um, once you if you have the right amount of star chips you can buy that card and it will then be added to your chest in the game now a lot of a lot of cards are like 9999 star chips which is like the max or actually I think it's 99,000 and since you can only get five per duel, as you can see, that would take forever. So this password thing, it's not really useful. You can't abuse it, really. So um, that's what I like about this game. It makes you play it legitimately. If you, legitimately. If you're going to get good cards, you have to do it the right way by just beating people until you get a good card. Or, you know, some other way. So yeah, that's the only way of getting cards in this game, is if you get enough star chips, you can spend them on password cards or if you just beat people. Those are the only two ways to get cards, and I can tell you right now we're only going to be getting about one card from the password thing once we get about 100 star chips. Other than that, we are not going to be, uh, the rest of the cards we're going to be getting are from duels. And the way I'm going to play this game, to get good enough cards to beat the game, what you are going to have to do is just, you know, duel people a lot constantly over and over to uh, get good cards, and it's going to be kind of boring, so I might do some of that off-screen, or I might fast-forward it. Not too sure how I'm going to do it yet, but you know, we'll just, uh, we'll go with the flow. Let's visit the town plaza real quick, see what's going on here. The festival's in full swing, but there's nothing of interest. Yeah, I don't see anything of interest. It doesn't look like a festival's in full swing. It looks kind of boring, actually. Alright, so now let's go to the Pharaoh's Palace, our home. See if, uh, Simon's still there and if he's freaking out. That we left. Ah, oh, there you are. Prince Scoop, you've returned. It is well into the night. Please return to the palace. Dear Prince, if you still wish to play cards, then try your hand against me. If you lose, you must return to your room. I'm sure you'll find him a worthy opponent. Uh, okay, so yeah, we have to duel him now. Uh, well, I, I guess I shouldn't have come here because I knew I'd have to duel him. You don't really think you're going to win, do you? Prepare yourself! Can the grasshopper defeat the master? We'll find out. So yeah, Simon, he's okay. Um, I think he's not as good as Teano or Jono. So we shouldn't have too much problem here. But, yeah. And I do want to go back out to the town, so we do want to win against this guy. Alright, so here we have some of these cards. Pretty much the name of the game early in this early in the game is uh, fusioning. If you don't fusion and get stronger monsters than these pieces of crap you have in your hand, you're going to start losing really, really soon, and you're going to start just sucking at life. So pretty much try out everything, see what works, and just uh, whatever fusions happen, just try and remember them, write them down if you have to, and use them uh, to get some really powerful monsters and overpower your opponent. Because otherwise you are going to, uh, you're going to suck. Okay, I think these two, actually, you know what? I think these two fusion. Oh, they do? Yes, yeah, sweet. Yeah, so if you fusion a uh, fairy and that mechanical guy, we get the cyber soldier who has 1500 attack, so we're good. Nice, 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 nice. Anyway, yeah, so, I don't know, this is almost the funnest part of the game to me. It's just the beginning of the game, because you have to use fusioning, and it's just so fun trying to figure out what fusion does what, and it's just, it's really an interesting part of the game. Once you get better cards, this game, you know, depending on the cards you get, it can become either really easy or, you know, it all depends. Anyways, this is a field car, which I'm going to show you. Uh, changes the field to Meadowland in favor of warrior and beast warrior monsters. So, I'm going to show this off. Let's use it. Huzzah, Sogan! 
Sojin Sogan, I don't know how you pronounce that. Anyway, that's going to change the field to Meadow, as you can see. So now, uh, Warrior and Beast Warrior monsters will benefit from this. Now, to tell what kind of monster you have, just press the triangle there, and as you'll see at the top, it says Machine, and it has that little symbol. So that's obviously our guy's a machine, so he's not going to benefit from this field. Now, if you check in your um, hand before you use Sogan, see if you have any Beast Warrior monsters, then you could obviously place them down, and I believe they get a 300-point uh, power increase from the field, so I'm not sure. 300, uh, you get 300 um, attack and defense, I believe. All right, let's kill that guy. So yeah, Simon, Simon really sucks. He does, so not a big deal. And just in case you guys are wondering, this is a semi-short kind of game. It's not like Final Fantasy, you know, kind of crap, but, um, you know, it's, uh, Let's see. Yes! Oh man, I'm getting lucky with these fusions. Gigatech Wolf again. Sweet. Um, but yeah, it, it will last us quite a while because there is quite a bit of stuff to do in this game and it gets really harder, but I don't think it'll take too long. Especially since I'm doing all these optional battles like a new, but whatever. Ain't no big deal. I ain't no thing but a chicken wing. Alright, and he's just gonna keep putting monsters in defense mode. If he's doing that, you know that we're probably kicking his ass. See if these guys fusion. Nope. All right, cool. Well, I'll just put this guy down. 1150 isn't bad. And see ya. Yeah, his monsters are all weak. Like, have we seen anybody over 500 attack yet? I don't even think so. Uh, once we get to duel people, like we get to duel Jono later and Seto, those guys are tough. Those guys are fun to fight. As of right now, we're just poning everybody. So, oh, he, oh, I thought he put a magic card down there for a second, but no monsters. Um, nothing really new is happening in this battle, otherwise I would, you know, I would tell you guys some new stuff, but that's pretty much it. And, uh, okay, so I did figure it out. If you do get down to zero cards, and then, um, if you get down to zero cards, like, you draw, uh, up to zero, then you're fine. But if you try to, if you need to, like, draw another card and you don't have any in your deck, that's when you lose. So, keep that in mind. Try not to fusion, like, all five monsters every turn, because you'll lose your cards really fast. Um, also, in this game, there are no monster effects like there are usually in Yu-Gi-Oh. No monsters have effects in this game. It's all just straight-up attack and defense power. I guess they're kind of like trying to show how the game was back in ancient Egypt, you know, in the storyline, so whatever. Oh, see, see how it says Guardian Star now, and it's in red? That means his Guardian Star, Neptune, trumps my Guardian Star, which is uh, Mars, I believe. So that means that I will lose, or he'll gain 500 attack points, so I might not kill him. So what would be smarter for me to do is uh, attack with one of these guys. So let's attack with this guy. Okay, see he would have had 850 defense. I still would have killed him, but it, it, I was just being safe, you know. Plus, I'm pretty sure we're still going to kill this guy right here anyway. Yeah, she's dead. Or no, wait, actually. Oh, man, she's going to have, or he's going to have 100 life points left. That sucks. Something cool to note also is um, with the more damage you do to an opponent, like if you do like 200 difference of damage it's going to do a really quick slash and just say 200 whereas if you attack their life points directly and you do like 4,000 damage it's going to do a really slow slash and it's going to be like ooh 4,000 you know because the first cut is the deepest um, all right and you can also try to fusion with monsters on the field if you want all you do is pick the card um, you want to fuse with it and then pick the card on the field and it'll add him into the fusion process at the beginning so there you go but um, in most cases it's always good to have as many monsters on the field as possible because then you get more attack power. So yeah, see now we have the Guardian Star Plus, so we gain 500 points and then we attack that guy. Now it's only temporary, you only gain the 500 points when you're attacking the monster that's weak to your Guardian Star. So there you go. And now we attack and we win. That's it, we beat Simon. Cool. I love the you win music! God, the music is so good there, you win. Alright, what ranking did we get? Oh, we got a B rank there. It took me a little longer uh, because I had to use 14 cards, so we only get three starships, that's fine. Usually, when you want to um, get the best ranking, pretty much you just use as few cards as possible and just win f as fast as you can. Like, try to win in like three or four turns if you can. Wretched Ghost of the Attic is a pretty crappy card, though, so don't think we'll add that. You won. It would seem that I taught you well. You've grown strong. You've won fair and square. As promised, you may go. I have nothing more to say. And just like that, we're kicked out. I believe if you go back there again, you can duel him again, but I don't know. So let's just go to the only place left, the duel ground. Oh no, computer, don't go on screensaver. Don't do that, please. Don't do that. Don't be mean. 
Alright, and Jono's here. Jeez, what does that mage think he is anyway? I gotta admit though, that guy was real tough. That guy probably actually is pretty good, because Jono's a fairly good duelist, so... Hey, Scope, how about a game until that guy comes back? Alright, we get to duel Jono! Alright, let's do it. I may have lost the last game, but I ain't lost my touch. Alright, and we finally get to duel Jono, a worthy opponent at last. What do you know? Cool. So this might be interesting. Jono actually has some cards, if he uh, manages to summon them, that can beat me. It is possible that I can lose this battle at this point, believe it or not. So, uh, the Shadow Who controls what? The Dark. Oh, okay, that's cool. Um, so pretty much we need to get some good fusions going on here right away, otherwise we are going to uh, get our butts kicked. So, um, I remember if we save the sheep and combine it with a mechanical monster, we will get that one guy, so... Um, let's just try to fuse these four guys, see what happens. Oh man, that sucks. Okay, now I'm just gonna put this guy in defense mode because his defense is relatively close to his attack. You know what? Actually, I'm gonna leave him in attack mode. We're fine. I don't think Jono can uh, kill me unless he gets like his great card right away. Okay, no, we're good. All right, now let's see what we got. Okay, so this guy is what type is he? Plant. All right. So let's combine the. Let's combine these two. See what that does. Okay, nothing. Awesome. So now we've got the Mask of Darkness. The mask. We all wear masks, figuratively speaking, of course. Alright, do either of us trump this guy? No. So let's just attack him with the weaker one, and cool. Alright, so he had 500 attack, not bad. Jono does have kind of a few, he has mainly pretty low weak cards, because he is still a beginning player, but uh, he does have a few beasts, I will let you know. And defense mode, okay, looks like he hasn't got any good cards yet, that's good. Okay, Root Water, this guy's good. We want to combine him with somebody. Usually water monsters combine pretty well. I could be wrong, though. Let's try combining him with this guy. Okay, nothing. Great, so now we have one less monster. That'll happen. Uh, Alright, let's just attack. And the Mystic Lamp. Once again, crap. And let's do 900 more damage. Cool. Looks like we're getting lucky so far. Uh... But I would like to beat him faster. I think I might stop fusioning so that we can get a better rank on Joey, because uh, or Jono. Because um, beating Jono with good ranks can yield really good cards. If you beat Jono with the best rank, it is a very, very small chance. It's very possible that you will get the best card in the game. It's possible to get it from him. So keep that in mind. Oh, no, we want to combine these two guys, right? I believe that makes something. Yeah, it does. Okay, it makes... Yeah, Gigatech Wolf. Cool. Uranus. <laughs> Uranus, that's funny. Uh, okay, I was just checking Guardian Stars there. And Dark Flank, that's crap. Yeah, we have that card. Alright, so now let's uh, attack. Continue! Huzzah! 1200. Alright, and he's just about halfway down, only 4100 life points left. Yeah, and trust me, the computer does know how to fuse. I don't have him set to easy or anything. These guys just rarely fuse, so, yeah, you know, it's not my fault. Um, sure, let's try to combine this dragon and this book. See what that does. Nothing. I didn't think so. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can kill this weak guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Alright, this might do it here. Oh, no. Probably not. No, because we, yeah, we don't have that much attack power. We are going to get him down to about 1,100, though. Huzzah! Alright, next turn, Joey. Unless you make a power play, you're donezo, bro. Uh-oh, he just he's going to put the card he drew out there. That's bad. Okay, good. Yeah, usually if they put a card out there they just drew, that means they just drew something really good. And no, no fusion, huh? Fusion, ha! Huh! Right, I'm gonna attack with my strongest guy because it doesn't matter. Oh, another change slime, really? Okay. And attack! And attack. And just like that, we've beaten Jono. Uh, we'll probably get about a B pow rank here. I don't. It, we did a little too many fusions, so I don't know. Yep, B pal rank. Uh, we get Cyberstein, which is kind of a weak card. He has like 500 attack, I think. So, yeah. We used a little too many cards. I used 17, which is a little ridiculous. Sorry, I've got the hiccups, man. Oh, I, that happens when I drink Pepsi. I don't know why. Geez, Scope, you whipped me. You know, you are good. Uh, yeah, so we beat Joey, or we beat Jono, and that's that. Do me a favor and beat that mage, will ya? Will do, Jono, but we're going to have to do that in the next episode because we are out of time. 
So in the next episode, we are going to wait for Seto to show up and then see if we can beat him. He is definitely the uh, hardest opponent we will have faced at this point. So look forward to that. I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. Goodbye, everybody, and have a good day.